Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and hello Slashblade, hello Squid, and hello Zackman, and why have I been thrown a bed? I've already got a bed, can't you see? It's very nice and comfy, I spent the whole night here. <laughs> anyway, this is a Minecraft Let's Play video, as I'm sure you're very well aware, because you've already clicked on this video. And this is a video inside Stampy's lovely world, and let's do my uh, customary pan of my lovely world, and doesn't it look lovely? Of course it does. Um, as you've already seen, I'm here being joined by Slashblade, uh, who's not been in any of my videos before, so welcome Slashblade, and it uh, looks like he's going to be switching between all of the different googlies in this video. Uh, also, Zachman here, who you may recognise as the person that hosts my speed building contest, so uh, it's kind of nice that he's joined me actually inside my world for once, uh, rather than me being in his world. And also Ballistic Squid, uh, who's the person who I'm normally facing against, and what's he doing? <laughs> You're going to drown, Squid, you madman, get out of there! Squid, what are you doing swimming up there? That's not an elevator, Squid! That's water. Oh, he's going. He's gonna die. Oh, come on. I need, I need to help him out. I need like a fishing rod or something. Are you okay, Squid? Are you all right? That's, actually, that that kind of looks like it. Kind of looks like good fun, to be honest. <laughs> I might have a go. I've no, I've never been down here like in a video. I don't think. Wee! And down to the bottom of the lake. <laughs> I should have expected that. That's what Squid would do, seeing as he is a Squid. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Ballistic Squid is a fellow YouTuber who I've done so many videos with now. Speed building contests. I've got uh, a whole Feed the Beast series, uh, which you may have seen some of the highlight videos of. I've also done um, like Hunger Games and Wolves and all sorts of PvP stuff. With him. Uh, so yeah, he's decided uh, to join me in one of my uh, lovely world videos. And Slash Blade, I saw that. Okay, he fixed it, so that's okay. He didn't just uh, vandalize it. And I don't like him being dressed up as a creeper because that might scare me. Anyway, you're probably uh, well aware why I've come to this area of my world. This is my love garden. Um, if you're not well aware, then I'll explain. This is basically uh, a place where I give shout outs to people. Um, anyone that uh, leaves a comment that makes me laugh or just sort of stands out or, I don't know, just does something nice to me or gives me a reason to say thank you, uh, then I add them to my love garden. And very festive slash blade, I've uh, seen... Um, well, actually, actually, it's not very festive because it's not Christmas right now, but oh well. Anyway, Love Garden. Today, I'm going to be adding uh, Amber Supper, uh, who is someone that messaged me on Facebook, and she actually uh, sent me a really awesome picture. Um, it was something that she edited, and um, I'm going to leave it as a link in the description so you can check it out itself. Um, but basically, it's a picture where there's uh, Minecraft signs written down saying uh, Longbow's Giraffes versus uh, Stampy's Mooses. Uh, who will win? And then it says Stampy's Mooses because Longbow's Giraffes are always kissing. And uh, the, the picture just is really awesome. She's edited it in like uh, paint or Photoshop or something and it really made me laugh and it really made uh, Longbow laugh as well. So um, if you want to go check it out, uh, I'll try and link it in the description somehow. And uh, yeah, I just appreciate uh, her spending the time doing that. And it was something uh, that was genuinely very funny. Anyway. Here is my doghouse, and uh, another ritual uh, from the start of my videos is I always take a dog with me, and today I'm going to take, uh, looks like uh, he wants me to take Flippy, so I guess Slashblade likes Flippy, so Flippy, uh, come on, stand up, come on boy, good boy, right, so now let's go uh, over to my fun land, and I realise uh, that I haven't mentioned what I'm actually going to be building in this video, and uh, in this um, video I'm going to be continuing building Googly's Manor, which is something that um, you probably assumed, I know I've been building uh, inside Googly's Manor for like literally ever now. I've spent uh, probably too many videos uh, working on that manor, but I don't know, I'm kind of happy with it. I'm kind of happy with how it's all uh, turned out so far, and I think uh, this will probably be the last video uh, you'll see me working on it. There's only two more rooms left for me to do, so I think I'm going to build one room in this video, uh, and then build the other room outside the video because there's a lot of redstone involved and I don't want you to have to sit through me trying to work out redstone because it takes way too long. And then I'm going to move on to something else, another mystery ride and um, I'm not sure what. I'm thinking of maybe going straight on to uh, doing a log flume or some sort of other kind of like roller coaster ride, you know, like a big proper ride, not uh, like a sideshow game like some of the other stuff. And look how popular, look how popular the pretty duckling is. There's a whole queue of animals trying to get in now. I think last time I was here, there was one sheep and one cow. But now look, look how excited that cow is. And Zachman as well. Zachman has just gone and got himself stuck. Um, I don't know if there's any way he can get out. It'd actually be quite funny if I took 
away his permissions now, then he'd be stuck there for ages, but that'd be kind of mean. Um, I, I genuinely don't think he knows how to get out. You can kind of see how the animals get trapped now. At first you might think, oh, it's just the silly animals, but I guess uh, Minecraft players can get stuck as well. And where did you get that melon, Squid? Can I have some melon? Can I have some melon, please, Squid? Oh, go on, give me one. Don't eat it all. Don't eat it all in front of me. Why's everyone got melon? Why's everyone got melon apart from me? I want melon. Why can't I have melon too? <laughs> Anyway, anyway, to Googly's Manor. If you haven't, uh, for whatever reason, uh, seen what Googly's Manor looks like already, this is it. Uh, this is my scary, spooky house. And what I'm going to do uh, before I start building is just show you uh, everything that I have built so far, just to sort of uh, recap your memory. Um, something that I have added is this uh, CD, uh, this music disc, and this jukebox, uh, which basically just plays scary sounds uh, in the background as you walk around. It kind of just sort of uh, sets the mood a little bit better. And you're going the wrong way, Flippy. You've got to go this way. Uh, so yeah, you go through here at first, and this is um, a bit of a boring room. There's not much in here, uh, apart from this ghost door, uh, which opens and closes. And this is the uh, the Googly's dinner party room, but unfortunately, uh, we don't seem to have any guests at the moment. Like, every time I'm not recording, there's always a load of Googly's fall through the ceiling, but whenever I'm recording, they all seem uh, to be slightly camera shy, so unfortunately, uh, there's nothing here. Also, um, because we haven't been close, uh, the Googly's might have all been, like, despawning, uh, so maybe that's why there's none here. Hopefully, uh, there'll be something by the end of the video. Anyway, you then walk through here into the witch's room and then ah an arrow fires across and then a oh all right And then another fire another arrow fires right into your face. <laughs> Thanks for that one squid Anyway, then you go through here and it looks like you can get the cake And so you run to try and get the cake and then oh no the floor opens and you fall down here And uh, this is oh god that that music disc is terrifying <laughs> and uh, this is something that you may not have seen before um, I've added a few new stuff. There's a, some pressure pads on the floor that when you go over them, it kind of plays a bit of a spooky sound that might make people jump. And it also lets off a dispenser in there, which lets off bones. And so that's supposed to be like the cell of someone that might have died in here or something. And look, there's some rotten flesh down there as well. So that's like uh, kind of a spooky empty cell with just some bones in the bottom. Uh, also here, I got my evil snow golem, uh, which has been locked up for an unknown crime. I don't know. Maybe it was bullying Henry or something. And down here, I got the evil vicious pig, which is the most vicious pig in all of Minecraft. And it might not look very scary, but you can see there's blood all over the floor. And I don't know, just look. Look at those haunted undead eyes. And I'm actually... Uh, going to be building a pig in this video uh, but the way you escape the way you get out of the dungeon as you got this ladder here uh, which leads into here and this is uh, where I'm going to be building in today's video and this place is going to be themed around like a kid's bedroom and uh, as I said I am going to have a big pig on the wall to kind of make it look uh, a bit kiddie and uh, the other rest of the wall I'm going to have uh, just blue wallpaper with like clouds kind of like the um, you know like the famous Toy Story wallpaper like just like pale blue and like uh, white clouds well obviously white clouds and uh, yeah so this will basically look like a kid's room and then I'm going to put ghosts as well and uh, the way I'm going to do the ghost is uh, let me just show you quick I uh, need to put down a crafting table and make some uh, fence gates yeah so the way I do my ghost is just white wall on the bottom and then uh, jack-o-lantern for the head and then the arms like that. So that kind of looks like a ghost. Uh, so I'm going to have a few of them uh, just sort of uh, floating around in the room. Uh, which would hopefully just look pretty cool and kind of scary. And uh, if I have time, I'm also going to start building the next room. But to be honest, I doubt I will have time because I can normally barely finish one room in a video. Uh, but yeah, if I do have time, I'm going to start building this room, which is going to be themed around like the parents' bedroom, uh, but as if the parents were creepers. So I'm going to have like uh, lots of green wallpaper and stuff and like a creeper themed bed. Uh, but what I'm going to do is so that when you walk to the middle of the room, all the lights go off. I'm going to have, like, glowstone, which gets covered up by pistons. Uh, so as soon as you get to the middle of the room, uh, this door will shut and will be an iron door. And then, um, yeah, you're, like, in pitch blackness. And then there's going to be a ladder hidden somewhere that you've got to uh, go down to escape. And then that will be it. That will be uh, Googly's Manor completely finished. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do uh, is start doing the walls in here. And uh, what I'm hoping is that if I start doing the walls and then... Uh, throw some of the wall to my Minecraft slaves. Uh, hopefully uh, they'll carry on. 
Uh, so if I can just get their attention, if they can stop fighting for one minute, uh, I'm going to throw down a bunch of wool. Come, guys, are you going to help me out or are you just going to beat each other up? Right, there we go. Looks like they're, they're going to be all fighting over that blue wall. So hopefully uh, they can see what I'm doing and then carry on building just so we can uh, get this done a little bit quicker. Because when I try and build by myself, uh, things can tend to take quite a while. So uh, it should be pretty obvious what I'm doing. I might chuck down uh, this wall as well. And then hopefully they can uh, carry on helping me out. Uh, but on this wall, I'm going to do a massive pig. <laughs> and so it's kind of going to be themed around the, the evil, vicious pig that's in the cellar. And uh, it's also just quite uh, a funny looking thing to do. Um, I was actually doing a few mock-ups and we were trying building different things and like at first we tried doing Winnie the Pooh and then we tried doing all other sorts of things and then we did a pig and we were all in hysterics at how silly but still kind of creepy the pigs look and so uh, they're kind of easy to do. You want the snout uh, like that I believe. I think that's how we did it and then uh, I want a few black dots for kind of like uh, the pig's nostrils should look pretty cool. And then they kind of have really derpy faces. Like um, their eyes are like quite high up and to the side. And they sort of look outwards. And they just look really weird. And it doesn't quite fit in because uh, the ceilings aren't very high. It doesn't quite fit in. But you can kind of uh, already see how just ridiculous it looks. So yeah, I'm going to have the eyes like that. And then it uh, like that. And uh, I'm also going give it, to give it some rosy cheeks. Um... I think I need to make the whole thing a bit wider. I think I'm going to do the whole thing uh, to there. Uh, should look pretty cool. And then I'm going to add in some rosy cheeks. And it looks so ridiculous, trust me. Um, right, so if I have the rosy cheeks uh, there. And then, yeah, I mean, you might not think this is a particularly scary thing to build. But remember, it is supposed to just be like a kid's bedroom. And uh, I don't know, the pig just looks funny. Actually, I might change the eyes so it's kind of looking in one direction, you know. I think that might make it uh, look a bit more shifty. Uh, so let, let's see what this looks like. Uh, let's see what you think. <laughs> that looks quite cool. I quite like it. Um, I don't know if we should do like... Uh, like that for the mouth. Does that look cool? That looks quite cool. Actually, I might put the bed down there. I might quickly craft a bed and uh, have that like where the baby sleeps. And the uh, the bed will kind of be like a tongue as well. I should have kept that bed that squid threw me earlier. That would have come in quite handy now. There we go. So that that's that's the mouth there. There we go. There's my creepy pig face. Um, I'm just going to carry on building the rest of the wall because uh, I reckon other people might have run out of blue wool. And uh, oh look, oh look, they've done the clouds like 3D. I were gonna, like, I was just gonna do like the clouds into the wall, but uh, it's it's kind of cool 3D. <laughs> Wouldn't you love this to be your room, like, when you were a child, or if you are still a child, wouldn't you like your room to be like this now? Um, I don't know, I think, I think your parents wouldn't be too happy, maybe. I, I hope I'm not giving anyone some bad ideas, and uh, people are going to be pestering their parents for ages for a massive pig face in their room, but I don't know, like, you can imagine, like, coming in at night when the, like, the room's quite dark and seeing that massive pig face and being absolutely terrified, you know? Having to spend the night inside a pig's mouth might, I don't know, it doesn't sound hygienic, if nothing else. And uh, I can hear all sorts going on downstairs. People punching each other and everything. And Flippy out the way. Stop, stop beating each other up, people. We've all got a common goal. We're all supposed to help each other out. And it uh, looks like, are, are we all going to go to bed? Oh, Squid sleeping in there. That's what's getting hurt. He's getting hurt on the on the trotter. Why, why are you sleeping in there? <laughs> He's getting eaten. Squid's getting eaten by the pig. And oh, no, no, don't punch me. Now, now Flippy's going to go for you. Oh, well, it looks, looks, looks like Zack Man's dead. <laughs> looks like he's accepting his fate. He's not trying to fight back, at least. So that's a good thing. Um, Yeah, I, I kind of like this room. I think it uh, kind of looks quite cool the way it is with all like the 3D clouds and stuff. Um... Sorry, excuse me, my phone's just going off. I'm just going to have to uh, throw that out of the way one second. Hopefully uh, that didn't interfere with the mic at all. Um, okay, well, I guess all I need to do now is add my uh, add my ghost, which is kind of the, the most fun and exciting part. So um, I want... Uh, I need to decide where to have them. I suppose it doesn't have to really be exact. They can sort of just be uh, like sort of floating around randomly around the room. So if I have that one there and then... Uh, I just need to put these down so I can place its wings. And they kind of look a bit like angels as well with like their wings. But uh, hopefully they're going to be slightly more scary than that. And what, what does this sign say? Uh, evil Mr. Porkchop. <laughs> there we go. That's evil Mr. Porkchop in the cellar. And oh no, has someone else hit me? Flippy's on a killing spree this game. <laughs> going after everyone. I guess people should be careful. Luckily he set his spawn right there. He just respawned straight away inside uh, evil Mr. Porkchop's snout. Um, yeah, so I got one ghost there. I'm going to put um, 
I'm not sure about the clouds actually sticking out. I'm kind of tempted to uh, put them in just because it takes up too much of the room, you know. I might actually, I'm going to make some shears just so uh, I can get rid of them quicker. And I might actually just uh, put the put the uh, the clouds so they're actually in the wall. And uh, I'm not going to do this exact or anything. I just want sort of general sort of cloud shapes around the room. I don't know, it's just a bit more like wallpaper as well then if I do it uh, so they're actually in the wall. Uh, so yeah, that looks a little bit like a cloud, kind of. Uh, I'm just going to do the same uh, over here. And uh, oh look, at least someone's put one there inside the wall. Uh, yeah, that will do for a cloud. And then uh, I just do one more cloud here. And oh no, I can hear people getting hit. No one hit me. You know what happens. If you hit me, Flippy will go for you. Flippy is a very loyal dog. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'm just going to do the same on this wall here and put these clouds in. Uh, I might do this one kind of like on the corner so it kind of goes round a bit. Might look quite cool. A bit more of like a 3D effect. And I don't actually have any yellow wall on me. Or else I could have like added a sun somewhere. Could have looked quite cool. And I always wanted the, um, the, the Toy Story wallpaper like in real life. Like I wanted that so much and uh, I've never got it. Um, I don't think I ever asked for it to be fair. It was more like uh, a secret dream of mine to have it. But uh, I'm determined to one day when I'm older in my bedroom to, to have the, um, the Toy Story wallpaper. And this looks okay. And um, they don't look much like clouds. Um, <laughs> I think I might just change that one round a bit. I mean, this is the kind of thing you can spend ages sort of spending time. But I think overall uh, this looks quite cool. And I'm just going to add a, a few more ghosts. Uh, I'm going to put another Another ghost up uh, up by here somewhere and that one can go like uh, right up like as high as it can go like on the ceiling uh, so I'll do it like that and then I just need to once again uh, add my my wings to the ghost and I think they do actually kind of look like quite cool ghosts and I need to craft some more gates and then I'm just gonna put up some like bookshelves and stuff and uh, other things to kind of make it look more like a, a child's room and people seem to be throwing food all over the floor <laughs> Uh, right, there we go. There's its wings. I think I think just one more. I think three will be fine. What I could do actually is have one like right at the at the stairs here. So like as soon as you go up the stairs, you're staring one right in the face. I don't know. It won't, won't really work actually because uh, the wall's out too far. Um, it looks, it looks like people are feeding Flippy. I think people have made up with Flippy. It's in love with them now. Um, yeah, I, I think I think just one more somewhere. One more can be like quite low down. I could have it in the corner somewhere maybe. Um, let's try and decide where to have it. Uh, I kind of want it so there's no torches in the room and like it's all just lit up from the jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, I think that would look quite cool. I might have it like uh, here maybe. So like as soon as you get up the ladder and you look to the side, you're like, whoa, and there's one like right there. So yeah, I, th I think this will do. Uh, I'm going to put the crafting table back down in the corner and I might leave that there. That could be like the, the kids playpen or something like that, I suppose. Um, right, so let's put uh, the, the fence against around it there. And I'm, I'm like dodging around everybody fighting. Look, everyone's just having a slapping fight. Everyone's running around slapping each other. Um... I think this looks okay. As I said, I just need to add a few, like, uh, bookshelves. I can put a chest down. I don't even know where I got this chest, but I can put this chest down somewhere down here, maybe. And, uh, yeah, then we're going to put a bunch of bookshelves around it. i got some bookshelves on me. Um, so if I just put these... Uh, around here a bit you know just make it look a bit more like a, a kid's room like pretend these are full of uh, toys or something along those lines so uh, I put a few more bookshelves there and uh, well, what else can I put in here uh, I could put up like a painting if I make a painting like a childish looking painting uh, there's got to be something childish looking in Minecraft um, yeah so let's, let's find a good place for this painting I'm kind of annoyed that I'm, I'm covering up my awesome wallpaper though I was quite happy with my wallpaper um, that doesn't look very kiddy does it uh, either does that. Uh, kind of. Oh, I could get that, that Donkey Kong one. You know, like the one that looks like Donkey Kong. There we go. That, that kind of fits in with a whole child's bedroom. Uh, so the plan is you'll sort of come up here, uh, from the dungeon where there's a load of wool for some reason. Uh, so you'll climb up this ladder and then you'll be like, ah, there's a ghost right there. And then there's kind of just ghosts creepily floating around this child's bedroom. I think this looks quite cool. I kind of like this room. Uh, unfortunately though, as I assumed, I'm not going to have time, uh, to really do any work on this next room in here. Uh, but the basic plan, as I said, is to have a bed here. And then have like, I don't know, have it kind of creeper themed just to make it like a creeper bedroom. Uh, but then I need to work a way of making it so that uh, all the lights go out. But as I said, uh, I probably won't do that in a video just because uh, as I'm doing redstone, I normally spend absolutely ages trying to get it sorted. Uh, I'm going to quickly though, uh, go and have a look into the, the dining room. And I'm going to take this music disc out uh, so other music should start playing. Yeah, there we go. 
But yeah, so I'm just going to quickly go in here. And oh no, it looks like Ballistic Squid was killed by Slash Blade. They've been fighting all video. And why is there nothing in here? I swear, the second I finish recording, this room is going to be filled with googlies all laughing and joking and eating rotten flesh and all sorts. Literally, every time I stop, like, recording, this place gets filled with googlies. I'm just going to quickly check, actually, um, upstairs that... Oh, I don't know how to get upstairs, uh, if I go this way. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly check upstairs that nothing's blocked because uh, we, we should be getting something. I can hear a skeleton and I can hear a spider. I just don't know where they are. Like, this is... This, this is like the top bit. Is there anything here? Um, I can hear stuff. I can hear spiders and stuff. I once again have no idea why things aren't spawning in here. Uh, but oh well, trust me, I do sometimes get stuff in there. There we go. Looks like I've caught myself a squid. Let me just uh, block this up quick and go down and look at squid there stuck. He's not going to know how to get out either because he's not going to want to break the glass. And uh, there's no other way out really, I suppose, unless he uh, piles blocks up. <laughs> There we go. I caught myself a squid. There we go. I, I didn't get any googlies, but I got some squid. There we go. We got uh, sushi for dinner. Everyone tuck in. <laughs> anyway, as I said, this is sadly the end of this video here. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you liked what I built. Um, I would say thank you to all of my uh, Minecraft helpers for helping me out. But to be honest, they kind of just spent the whole video fighting. And oh no, looks like we got a creeper friend. Stay back, Slash Blade. No, don't do it, Slash Blade. It's not worth it. I'll do it. That's all right. Oh no. As if we didn't see that happening. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end the video here before anything else goes wrong. So I want to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye.